everyone welcome back to our channel salutations uh we're gonna do a little stitch with us today because i had planned to film the video today i started it yesterday but then uh me and Mara were talking about it and we're gonna do this instead you might see the other video at some point but we're gonna do this instead today so today i am working on i made you forgot what my middle was halloween at hawk run hollow what are you working on Ray? I'm doing a new start, so we need like air sirens. Do you want me to mark your middle? No, I'm good, I've got it now. It's just because it's like folded where it was done, I immediately unfolded it and forgot. You're where not uneven. Oh, that's a shame. Right. Come here. You hold it like that. Oh no, that's pretty good. Right. Now hold it the other way. What, like inversed? Oh, not what I meant. Can you hold that? Yep. Just a little unexpected bit of our, our video. I don't know whose phone just went up. It might have been mine. It was. Yeah. Do you have a hoop? Are you good? I've got a I have nerd. two snaps if you need it. I don't actually know where the rest of the nerd hoops went. The one you gave me stays like in my bag. It's a hoop of many wonders requirements. Mm -hmm. So, how is everyone doing this week? Uh, you might be able to tell in our voices. What's wrong with us, Roy? We are pooly. We are sick. Bella went to the doctors this week, she's got medicine for a chest infection and I think she's very kindly passed it on to the rest of us. Um, it's also yeah. Mother's Day this week, it's Mother's Day today as we're filming. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, I got a... what's it called? An aroma diffuser. There we go. Uh, which I'm really excited to try out. We should have had it on for the video while we're both poorly. Took me a minute. Oh, oh. It's there. You know it's not that fold, it's that fold. That fold? Yeah. Good start. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I got those. Bella picked me up some flowers and some little snacky bits. So it's been a really nice day. Bella made me a card. And honestly, I'm thinking about turning the little drawing she did into a chart because it's so cute. And it's like, it's one of those proper like kid drawings, you know? She was very proud of that. You know, like, you like, that is like just the cutest, best picture anyone has ever drawn in the history of the world. It's one of those. Um, my starting point for today, ta-da! I'm working up this border here. Yeah, and I'm still going on with the half cross um, method. Don't know if it's a, a proper method, but it's what I do. <laughs> I am... Um, do half a cross, half, like one leg of the cross and do that everywhere. And then if I mess up, I can frog. Easier than um, if I've done the full cross, it uses less floss if I have to frog. You know, that's, I just prefer doing it that way. So if you are a newbie to high counts or like stitching over two, because that's, this is the only time I do it like this is when I'm stitching over two. Um, I'd recommend trying it out because I, I'm not a good counter anyway, and actually, okay, so uh, Chopping Mall, which I've been working on for some time because it's a gift for someone, well it's going to be a gift for someone, I'm going to have to cut this, um, I've miscounted quite badly on it, uh, to the point where I'm considering just starting over. That much? Yeah, because also I'm doing two over two on 40 counts, so it's really like thick getting the floss through, so I'm thinking... Start over and do one. One over two. There we go. I just cut the black and I didn't even need it. What colour am I going for? Thirty-seven ninety-nine. Can I just get you to double check my start point on here, please? Yeah. I'll make that a bit tighter for you if you want. Please. 
Hang on a sec. I just need a professional opinion from a professional stitcher. Do you want to chat for a sec? Yeah, I don't actually think I've said what I'm doing yet. Because I think no. we got sidetracked by me finding the start point. You introduce I can that. show the front of it, can't I? Yeah. Like, the pattern picture. Yeah, you can't show the, the chart. chart. I'm finally starting this. Jess was originally... Finally? You've finally. had it that long. No, but I've, like, lost the fabric for a bit, didn't I? You haven't lost the fabric, we just weren't sure what fabric to use. Oh, there we go. So finally properties wasn't the right word, but I'm starting this. Which I'm very excited about, because originally... Which way you around are you stitching it? Long ways? Yeah, I thought long ways would probably be best, because that's how the charts... <laughs> Done it. Because I've been wanting to stitch it, and you'd actually got it to stitch for me, hadn't you? But then yeah, I was, like, was going to do it. I was like, no, I'm jealous, I want to stitch it. So, so I was like, fair enough. <coughs> so we're doing go. that. Do you have your, your cup of drink? I'm gonna do, I think we should do a little section, like, yeah. what's in your cup, or what cup have we got? Because we have a lot of fun cups in the house, yeah, don't we? Yeah, we do. So my cup for this week is, it's got a picture of Little May on it. And I'm drinking green tea this week. What are you drinking, Jess? I am drinking a cold cup of tea. You want to warm it up? No, it's fine. And Jess's cup says Mama Bear. Ooh, sorry. Thank you, fine. So I've made a cross, so yeah. you need to start here. Cool, thank you. And then we'll just pull that out when you've started. So that's accurate to the red line? Yeah. Thank you. What oh, would I do with that? I've laid all my DMC out. What's quite funny is, <coughs> so I have the DMC box and I was like hang on do I not have the colour ready? Oh no, what no I do it had fallen off. Um so I got the DMC box and I was like talking to my mom about it and I was like see every chart uses different colours and I suppose there's some that maybe get used more frequently like 310. 310. Um my mom was like mm -hmm, even though she has no idea what 310 is <laughs> but what's quite funny is there's, I think I've kitted up three things using the DMC box. The first two were my projects and they both use one of the same colours. Yeah. And now Rai's going to start pulling in colours to do this one. And he was only going to pull out one colour for like his start colour. He was only going to pull one. It happened to be the exact midpoint colour as well, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, the midpoint colour. It was going to like all line up and everything. And I had it. I had already pulled it for this chart, so I had to be like, can I please have it so that I can start? And I was like, absolutely, that's fine. But how funny that in the three... Three charts that you've started since. They're both, I think they were all 700 colours. How do you mean? They're, they're all colours that are 700 and something. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, what I've done is I've taken a bit and put it on... A spooky floss drop, so nice. you can have that back for, for now. So keep it with that because it's marked on your little databases with that, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to lose it. And I think when I get close to like running out, I'm just going to buy replacement ones. But then I can order them online and I don't need to go to like really <laughs> expensive places. I feel that. Because you can definitely get DMC cheaper. Even if we like get them from America, they're like ridiculously cheap. Like when we go over there. We're just gonna have to bring a, a suitcase and when we're at the airport it's like we just have an empty suitcase and then on the way back it's why do you have a suitcase so full of floss? What's in the suitcase? What are you bringing back into the country? Well International floss smugglers. I think we'd be allowed. Well it's like I think it was like sixty something cents. It will definitely be allowed. America. It would just be like the comedy factor of it. Right now that's started, can I pull this black thread? Yeah. One sec. I've confused and perturbed myself. Easy to do when you may. How's everyone's stitchy week going? I did a little bit of work on World Map, a little bit of work on the holiday, a little bit of work on this, and I think that's all I've done this week. You say that like you haven't just listed off like a little bit of work on all these different projects. It's only three. That's pretty... Oh and I've uh, charted something. Yeah, but also on top of that, you've been to work and you've been unwell, so yeah, it's pretty impressive. Don't short sell that. Thank you. I um, I've made, and you guys are going to be absolutely blown away when you hear this. What have I charted, Rye? 
What you mean? I can give it away. The no, the, totally. Just the theme. On... The theme. See if anyone can guess. Type a comment and then come back in like a second. We'll wait. Okay, go on. Christmas. Out. I've done a Christmas stitch along. Um, it's going to be based around. So the th the theme that I had in my head was Christmas knitwear. Um, so like you know, ugly. Well, I think I like them. I don't think they're ugly, but they're called. Ugly Christmas sweaters. A sweater with a face only a mother could love. That's we'll the one. Um, I've made a Christmas stitch along. There's all patterns from that. And I am obsessed with it. It only uses two colours or three if you want to have back stitching on it. Um, yeah, I just, I really like it. It is a really cool piece. Like, I've seen you working on it and have been asked for input, but I think yeah. it was a good idea that you didn't go with what I said. I feel like that would have made it a bit more complicated. You would have needed more colours and whatnot. Possibly. Possibly. Um, I just have been feeling recently like I really want to get into designing more. So, yeah, I, I'm i enjoying it. Hang on, I need to count. One, two, six. So what's everyone been up to this week, though? Like... You've we've been ill, but aside from that, you've been working. I've still been looking after Bella, <laughs> but like, it's the psychological thing. Like, when you're poorly, you're poorly, but when I'm poorly, I'm I'm dying. Like, I can't. I don't know what you're on about, Rye. I think I think you're being very kind, but honestly, Rye gets poorly worse than anyone else in this house, and he lives in a house with three girls. That's what he's saying. Yeah. We're like, not saying it's man flu, because it is definitely horrendous. It's definitely, but like everyone else would say... Like, still going. Yeah. I still go, but at the same time I'm more dramatic about it, like, you'll have a bit of a cough, and I'll sound like Val Kilmer from Tombstone. Like, I'll be riddled with consumption, and I need to go to, like, convalescence by the sea or something. I don't know what they did back then. But, like, the drama's there. It's... He just, like... He's got a cough that is very distinctive and a sniff that is very distinctive. That is very obviously me. So it's like, you know, when you're just chilling out after work and you just hear that, you're like, oh. Yeah, but the thing is, <laughs> you hear me like, how bad my chest is. Like, we'll be laying there, like, yeah. chilling. We were watching Scream the other night and that was, that was like, good. the night I was really bad. We were just laying there. I could hear myself breathe. I sounded like a steam press. Or like bells that you would use to stoke a fire and I'm like yeah this probably isn't great well we also found out that Ray actually like has a weak chest his mum like sent us a message one time when he had covid oh yeah when I was riddled with the the vidi c so he was like just really unwell and we were like why is Ryan so much worse than the rest of us and it's taken ages for him to get better yeah and I said um, to my mum and she was like oh you've always had a weak chest since you were a child and I was like what yeah, but we just didn't Excuse know me. that. Uh, seven. Four. Oh, I've made a really nice Five. three by three square. Six. Now, if I do like some little triangles, I can pretend it's uh, the roof. I'm working on the witch's hat at the <coughs> minute. Um, I started yesterday going through my um stitching stash and i have a lot of stuff are you, are you okay if i mark the thing did you say oh well, yeah it's your pattern so this is another thing that we talk about quite often um we like to discuss what we would do if we won the lottery. So I want to know what you guys would do if you won the lottery. Like millions, like hundreds of millions. Because our plan is always along the same lines of, you know, you'd give some to family <coughs> and you'd make sure you everyone was looked after and everything. But then get a really nice house, get a nice car. I'd open a shop like that. Like that would be like... Step number one, buy a house. Step number two, open a shop. Like, that would be my Step main priority. Three, house shop. <laughs> oh, you could do, like, um, 
Breaking Bad, but instead of illegal activities, you've just got to stitch in an RV, <laughs> and you just rock up to the... You could do, coast to coast, LNS in your RV. That would be pretty cool. I've always wanted a camper van. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, a proper, like, you know the I ones know. on Modern Family? Yeah, I know, but I'm yeah. saying, like, could do. We still need to book the hotel for the retreat we're going to. I think about that quite often. I was thinking about that on the way back from Sainsbury's this morning. Strange. Mm. But yeah, what would you do if you won the lottery? Because I would, I think, just go a little bit stitching crazy. Stitchy overboard. You'd go to all the events, wouldn't you? Like a season pass holder. I would go to all market. the events. I'd go to like every LNS that I could find in the whole world. You should do, pardon me, you should do an LNS bucket list tour. That would be cool. That would be cool. I would like... I don't know. I'd be doing the most, is what I'm trying to say. I would I would love it. Sadly, we did not win the lottery last night. But that just means we'll be going back for it next time, probably. Probably. My thing is, you know, I, I always talk about it, but more often than not, I forget to put... to, like, actually buy a ticket. So then I'm yeah. like, oh. And then there was that little while when you were working on a theory that you'd have to buy a physical ticket. Yeah, I've got lots of lottery theories. I know what I'm spending the money on when we win. You should write a lottery theory book, mm. a conspiracy book about the lottery. You know what, you should write a conspiracy theory book in general. Rai started writing this like list of notes <clears> that I told <throat> him he should turn into a book of all of the things that... Um... All the Jessisms. Because like, I'm... I'm quite a smart person, I would say. That's a huge smart person. But, like, I did well in my exams and everything. But I'm not very clever. Like, I don't... Rye's a, Rye knows a lot about a lot. I know a huge amount about very specific things, like stitching. Academically, you know? I did not do well, but I'm a fond of knowledge for unnecessary information. Yeah, Rye just has... Trivia knowledge, I would say. You're good in pub quizzes. I'm brilliant at pub quizzes. Oh, someone's beeping outside. Oh, still going. So, I think Rai just like laughs at me sometimes because sometimes I'm like, why is this like this? And he just like writes it down. It's just some of the stuff you come out with is brilliant. I feel like we should, uh, do like, a video if, where if we enough talk people about want them. it, we'd, we'll do a reading of some of the notes I've got so far. I would say no because they are not. Very interesting. <laughs> like... It's just stuff you want answers to, really. Well, yeah, but I feel like people are going to think of me differently if they know what I'm, like... <laughs> it's not it's a secret shame. No, it's not, a, like, a secret shame, because I, I ask other people, but it's like... I just sound dumb when I ask stuff. I can't even remember what any of You've got an inquisitive mind, that's what it is. You just want answers to all the questions that people don't usually think of. Yeah. So another thing that we've done this week, uh, I've been in work, obviously. So one of the things I've been doing at work is I've been mapping out a website. It's been really fun. Um, we're getting a new website and it's very, very exciting. And I've had meetings with loads of people about it, see what they want. And yeah, it's just been good fun. I do marketing, if anyone was wondering. That's your big old deal. I am the marketing coordinator for a local charity. Which is very impressive. I'd say. It's it's um it's a hospice, so I didn't really know what to expect when I started work there, but it's everyone there is nice and it, it's not totally open at the minute. It, it like closed during COVID a little bit and we're still getting back to being fully open, but it's really it's like a nice environment to be in because of the people. You know? Yeah. Like, it's not... I don't know. It's yeah, not what I was expecting. It's... I like working there, basically. I think it's also a reward in being able to say how you work at a, a charity hospital. I don't really talk talk about it, though, so no, I, I, I don't really think of it like that. The feeling of it. Like, surely you've got to think sometimes. Yeah, I, I, I it's pretty feel cool. Com like, I'm very happy that I work in a place that gives back to people in that way. Well, that was all a big thing for you, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah when I was like moving jobs, um, I was saying to Rai, I really want to work for a charity, I want to give back to like the community and all that kind of thing, um, and that's what I want to do. 
and look at you now. And it's, I just happened to get the job there and it's great fun. You fell into working for charity, didn't you? I did. And it's great. Do you say it's one of the best decisions you've made? I would say it's one of them. Mm. It's up there. Um, another one of my best decisions that I've made was starting my Floss Tube channel because all the friends you made. It, I was just going to say it gives me an opportunity to talk to people who understand my language, who understand what I'm thinking and what I'm talking about and the projects I'm working on and get excited with me and I can get excited with you and it's just really nice to like have this outlet. And I know that other people who watch me have floss tubes. Uh, people were commenting what their floss tubes were a couple of videos ago. So, you know, it's just one of those where it's like, anyone can start one. And actually, once you start one, you get to know more people in the community. It's just good fun. So I really like that I started a floss tube. What's your greatest like thing that you're proudest of? Apart from obviously Bella, because both of us, I would guess that that's what it is. Yeah, I feel like if... That comes above jobs and anything else. I feel like we kind of have to include Bella, wouldn't we? But like now that we're discounting her. If, if you, if you, it was like solely <coughs> you, no one else helped out with any of it, just something you did. Because I, if you're a new viewer, you don't know this. I did this floss tube on my own for a while. Mm. So that does count towards my, I did it on my own. I think um, some of the stuff that I used to do for work, I kind of like, taught myself a lot of it so yeah like the engineering aspects of stuff I've done and in the first like, lockdown period when I was I used to work at TK Maxx and when I was off there during that time I taught myself how to code that was I was pretty proud of myself for that yeah it's just little bits like that where like I've gone in like oh I won't do this and I've like learned how to do it yeah. like, sort of taught myself I had this something to be proud of I also built a really cool house on Minecraft one time. I'm still chasing that high. There's a new Kirby game come out on the Switch and I may have to get it a payday. We will see. I did the demo on, um, cause you can download the demo and it's like a couple of levels. And I finished that. in like the game you were talking about? Oh, Just Dance. Just Dance. Just Dance 2023. Looks good. Don't know if I actually want to get it though. Because Bella wasn't even that into it when we were playing with her. That's true, but what you could do is just put the Just Dance on YouTube <coughs> and you won't get the high score, but you'll yeah. get the experience. Yeah, that's true. What else were we doing? Um, oh, Super Mario uh, 3D World? I think, there's that's just fun. like Mario games that are like... Yeah, you, you were just having a look on at Switch games the other day, And Pokemon um, Mystery Dungeon. That's one I wanted to play. It's... I don't know how you say it, it's the one that begins with an A, it's like Ar Arcaris or something. Yeah. It was like the massive open world one. Yeah. I bought, me and Rai, um, Pokemon, what was the one, Pearl and Diamond, oh. because that was the first, first, that was the first Pokemon game I ever had was Pokemon Pearl, and I was obsessed with it, it got me into my love of Pokemon and all that. Um, so I bought that, and me and Rai were playing it, <coughs> and he finished it all before me because we were kind of like racing with it yeah and right finished it before me and i was so upset about it that i put the game down and i haven't touched it again and um, so then when the most <laughs> recent ones came out what are they called oh off the top of my head i don't remember i was just thinking about violet and violet and no i don't think it's violet, I think violet. is it mm -hmm. possibly we'll, we'll come back whatever the newest like <coughs> of them are i bought those for me and rye and Rai's not got into them, so because Rai won't play it... It's not that I won't play it, we Because you've not got yet. into it, I am like, oh, it's not as fun when we're not like racing and like having fun on it together, so... As long yeah. as it's not been moved, because Bella was like, that's what she was moving the other day, on my side of the bed. Oh, was it? Yeah, and I was telling it like... But what um, really sticks with me about that game is... What was the, the Pokemon I ended up with at the end? It was like, the one from my game. Was it Dialga? Yeah. yeah, you had a little penguin Pokemon named after Bella. And My Pokemon was literally called Bella, and it was like a little penguin. Who's our daughter? <laughs> it was really cute, and Jess was giving it like all talk, being like, "Oh, let's have a, a Pokemon battle, I'll win," and I think I wiped out your entire team because I had like the final like. You had the legendary. Pokemon. Yeah, I had the legendary Pokemon from that game, and at the end, 
literally little penguin Bella going up against this elder god and she was just stood there doing the little penguin arm flap. You literally smacked her. <laughs> she got one Not shot. Not like actual Bella, the Pokemon. Just yeah, I was going to say, let's not start this. No, so it was like just really sad because... That was your last Pokemon as well on your team. I feel like you weren't really into Pokemon as a kid, whereas I was. No, I was into it. Were you? Yeah, yeah. What Pokemon games did you have? I didn't have, like, have it on the DS. Um, someone had showed me how to get it on a Game Boy. Alright, fair enough. So I played, a, which one was it? Sapphire and Emerald. Yeah. I think it was, is Sapphire the one with Kyogre? If anyone knows that, let me know. It's like the big whale Pokemon. Yeah, he'd, um, a boy at school would give me a cartridge and he was like, try that. Huh. I was like, what is it? And he was like, Pokemon, give it a go, it'll blow your mind. It did. I have had, let me have a think about this. Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon, I think it was just called Red, the like original yeah. one. I downloaded that, um, but I don't think I actually played it. Um, I had Pokemon Ultra Moon, and I had Pokemon Black. You know, they did the black and white. I can't remember which mm. one I had, but I had one of those. Um, and then I had Pokemon Ranger. That is my favorite Pokemon game ever and if they ever bring that back i am on it straight away on oh, like a car bonnet so to speak oh, it's so good right they, you can like circle them with your stylus <coughs> and you have to like catch it oh it's so good it like i can't explain it oh you know what i played one time around someone's and house. i had pokemon mystery dungeon sorry their older brother had the i don't remember what console it was on but was it called pokemon snap yeah where you went around and you took photos of them oh no you would do that on um ultra moon i don't know what I don't know if that's um, its own game, it probably was. I think Pokemon Snap was its own thing. I thought that was something else. Anyway, I I'm like, was a big Pokemon fan. Still am. Big but Pokemon it's guy. not as fun when I won't play it with me. I also have Pokemon Go. Woo woo! I did say it's not that I'm not, I won't play it with you. No, Ryan just refused. He says, I don't want to do anything if it's anything to do with you. We've been married less than a year and I'm sick of you already. That's why I make appearances on Fostroom every week. Appearances? Yeah. <laughs> like you're a social cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was at first. Ryan literally was a special guest at first. Um, not anymore. Now he's a regular. Yeah. That's why uh, Jess can say these slanderous things about me not wanting to play Pokemon. She doesn't have to worry about me not turning up next week. <laughs> Ryan starts his new job uh, in a week and a day. Yeah, next Monday. Scary. Are you scared? Not really. Oh, Should I be scared? Yeah. I feel like I have to be scared now. No, I'm just an anxious person. Oh. You are a little, a little bit anxious, aren't you? Fine. That's a very nice way to put it. You're a little ball of anxiety. Yeah. Getting better though, I think. <laughs> I'd say so. I still answer the phones though, or make the phone call. <coughs> I feel like no one likes to do it though. I know, I do it though. Right. Little insight there. Who makes the phone calls in this household? It's no, not who wears the pants in the relationship, it's who makes the phone calls. In school, Jess was the kind of girl that was like, I'll knock on the door, you do the talking. When you had to go to the reception or something, you are. Uh... <laughs> it's really mean. I want to change the conversation topic. <laughs> Unnecessary expose. What was your favourite Pokemon game that you've ever played then? Sapphire, because that's like the first one I ever remember playing. I feel like I must have had more than what I can think off the top of my head, but I can't think of any more. The Pokemon girl is coming out. Wow, it's not Pokemon uh, Diamond that you played with me. <laughs> Actually, I played Pokemon I had Diamond first. with you. Yeah, and I had Shining Pearl. I just love Pokemon. Pokemon gives me that warm, happy feeling. Same as Animal Crossing. You know what game gave me that feeling? What? And I'm back on it and it's the origination Red of... Red Dead. Yes. I love Red Dead. I go back to it every now and again. If you see me pull a face in the video, it's because my thread got stuck on my um, needle mind and not because Rai was talking about Red Dead. Jessica, Sorry. Jess gets livid because she loses me for like bits at a time when I play and I'm just... I'm, I'm sorry. You know he's lying because... <coughs> 
if you're a stitcher, you know that having a partner who does their own thing and like gives you time to do your own thing, that's the best. I was only going to say you lose me because for a few hours I've become like oh, yeah, an old tiny did. cowboy. But I, I don't get livid. It's it's great. It gives me time to do my own thing. I wish I had a cowboy hat. I'd have a, I want a cowboy hat just so I could play Red Dead with it. If anyone knows where I can get like Arthur's cowboy hat from Red Dead. Just so I can sit in it and play. Live out my fantasies. I do have like proper little fantasies on that. I made my character look like um, Val Kilmer from Tombstone. I'm mentioning him again. I made him look like that on my last playthrough and I was like really excited. It's a little things, isn't it? Little things for little minds. <laughs> I've started looking at quilting. Will you do like custom quilts, like uh, what happened to our friend? Don't know. I don't know that I would ever like do it enough to do that, you know? Like I'd want to do little quilts or like full size like... quilts <coughs> for like us guys. I feel like if you're making quilts for people who aren't like immediate family, it's a lot of pressure on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Because if I make a quilt for like you and it's a little bit off, we can just laugh about it and be like, Yeah. Oh, it's just a little bit off. Why is this not sticking? <laughs> eh? Oh no. Oh, there we go. It's I was in a calamity. No, I was putting the magnet on the front and the back in two different places and then was confused why it wasn't sticking. That'll do it. Show what riot will. Magnets are magnetic until they're not, and you learn it here first. If, if anyone was curious. So yeah, I've been watching some quilting videos on t on TikTok. Well, yeah, but yeah. mainly on YouTube. And I want to I do some quilting. I've got loads of fabric and stuff, just because that I had anyway. But I need the like rotary cutter. That's the only thing I need. And then I can have a little go. I was going to do something tomorrow that would involve me going somewhere like near where there's a rotary cutter. Yeah. And I can't remember what it was I was going to do. But if I, remem if I remember what it is and if I end up doing it, I'll pick you one up tomorrow. Thank you. You're very welcome. So yeah, watch this channel for quilting content, possibly. Whoa. At some point. You could call it content with a Q so everyone knows it's content. quilting. Content. Yeah. It couldn't be anything else. No, nothing else begins with a Q. Queen. I hope everyone's weekend is going good. Or like, <laughs> was good, I guess, because I put these videos... Do you just burp? I'm really sorry. I couldn't. Sorry. I put these videos out on a Tuesday now, so I guess the weekend's over for everyone, but yeah. it's not my, us. It's the weekend somewhere, I mm -hmm. say, as I resign myself to it nearly being Monday. It's nearly Monday, that's crazy. I had um, one day off this week. Uh, I had some annual leave to take and I took it. And that's that. Yeah. <laughs> you can probably hear it. I sound like um. Wheezy. Yeah, wheezy. Or if anyone watched Wacky Races, I probably sound like Muttley. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah, had a good day off. Didn't do much. What did we do? That's a very good question. What did we do? What did we do? Oh, um, we went to see you now. Because it was yeah, red nose down tonight. Yeah, it was comic relief. Yeah, uh, you weren't feeling well, so I let you sleep in and me and Bella went to the shops. Then you guys Oh yeah, stones. I had a really bad headache. I've been getting really bad headaches recently. That's another reason I'm not really been stitching. Like I was saying, like, was it last week's video, the week before, where I was saying I don't really stitch when I get headaches because I have to have the light off? Yeah, because that's why you were talking about Bella's crochet jumper you did. Yeah. I get migraines, um, not often, but more recently than normal yeah like probably because you're doing more like screen related stuff at work yeah probably if you're doing website work it's just like here that i get it and it's really bad and I, all i can do in those moments is sleep so that's why there's not been a whole lot of stitching that i've been ill the whole work. house has been ill to playhouse isn't it it is because the thing is once someone in this house gets ill that's everyone else consigned to it but no one else gets ill at the same time, so Bella will be getting over it, and I'll be in the throes of it, and then you'll be coming down with it. Yeah, we all like it's it's, it's probably staggered. good because it's staggered, but it's also annoying <coughs> because no one like like a, like a week long cold, you lose a month too though yeah, with everyone in the house. Bella gets her energy back, right? As you have no energy, <laughs> so that's a little bit like so it's oh, a, oh, absolutely sapped. Um, it's our one year anniversary uh, in just over a month. Yeah, not long, is it? It's like six weeks, I would guess. 
maybe maybe a little bit longer than that maybe seven um but for our wedding actually someone bought me what someone who watches our videos bought me a heaven and earth design chart so i'm gonna start that for our one year anniversary very Which exciting is going to be awesome what i'm going to do is finish off this little row of three clip off this thread because i'm not as confident with floss chicken <laughs> and mark off where I am, so I've, I've kind of got an understanding. Okay. The I can't yeah. remember what the pa pattern's called, but I remember exactly like in my head what it looks like. Oh, yeah. even I can remember exactly what it looks like. And Do you I'm know like... what we've not spoken about? What? I just went on my notes. Oh, go on. Uh, someone bumped into the back of Rai's car while we were coming home from work the other day. So Rai picks me up from work sometimes. Sometimes I drive myself and sometimes mum, you know. Yeah. Um, But sometimes it's rye most of the time it's rye that gives me lifts and stuff and he was driving me home and we were like stopped at some lights <coughs> and there was this like bang and we moved and we were like what just happened and this car went into the back of us yeah because at first what was i doing looking for that piece that you go that we go sorry oh yeah yeah it was literally such a delicate like little tap, tap though at first well I was, it didn't feel it, it didn't feel like it it's but no at the same time, time it wasn't like a massive oh my goodness we've been in a huge crash yeah. it wasn't like that because my first question was did we stall because it just felt like i that thought lurch. riot stalled because we just went but no that really hurt actually um someone went into the back of him but we're fine and bella wasn't in the car that was <coughs> i said afterwards like if bella we were really nice with the girl like I'm she, sure she i think she was like a student doctor maybe she was clearly just finishing work and she was saying that she was really stressed and like work and everything and we were just like don't even a, worry had about a time it, of it hadn't you? yeah so it was like the car was fine we were fine oh. but if bella had been in the car it would have been different like i would have been so annoyed and um, really bad because my car just sorry while well, we're in it already has like a big crack in the bumper which is like that when we got it because it's used and she saw that and thought it was she her. was so scared because yeah. like low speed but it's this big splintered crack that goes yeah. at the side and she was like oh my god was that me no the right fan. um the pattern is cherry blossom lake by garden fitcher it's a paid chart hang on is that gonna focus there we go it's so gorgeous the only thing Thing that I'm wondering is what fabric to stitch it on. Does it have a background? No. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a background, which is interesting. So yeah, I don't know what I don't know what colour to stitch it on. What colour would you stitch that pattern on? Let me know. I've got some purple fabric, but I don't know if that's gonna be too much with it. Oh, my uncle's put a picture on a bus. Of a gown? Yeah. To all these those generous mums who put others first, organise, multitask, care and provide the glue for their families. Oh. I'm going to do something for me for Father's Day. <laughs> oh, can't uh, thread my needle. I I can find the gap then. So, yeah, I don't know. What colour fabric would you do for that? I don't know, maybe like a nice... Um, <clears throat> like an off-white type thing. I was thinking like a cream mm. or maybe, but then some of the colours in because it's on like a bluey white background in the picture. Yeah. I don't know if it needs to be on like a brighter background. I quite like the idea of the purple. Like a, a nice bone maybe. Yeah, I could do. So you're going neutral. I'm mm. going bright. That colour. No, it's tie -dye, like no. You have to go tie dye purple. Tie dye purple. Well, it's a it's a hand dyed coffee craft fabrics you know the one i got yeah. in the fabric of the month i could do that but now that i've got all the dmc colors you know i can just start i can just start charts whenever it's very exciting um yeah i want to start this hey no need for those uh, hobby craft trips where i'm stood there with a list <laughs> and a confused expression on my face well you better now oh yeah because you know what we're doing in the early days though it was wild yeah but I, I really want to start that, but I'm saving it for our one year anniversary. And then I'm going to try and get it done by our two year anniversary. But, you know, you know me when it comes to, what's it called? Goals, stitching goals. Mm. How kind and generous was that? That, like, honestly, was the first time where I was like, 
people are watching our videos and like care about us not in like yeah. a oh my gosh we're so famous people care about us but in a like oh wow i can't believe someone would gone out of their way yeah and it's just so kind so kind and i'm very excited to start it so if you are the person that bought it and you were like oh, why haven't they started it yet i'm starting it on our one year anniversary i think the one year anniversary is paper i think it is as well i've seen it right? so i don't know what to do oh i have an idea of what oh not stitch wise i have an idea of what i'm going to do though oh yeah you've thought ahead, more ahead than i have well what can i say hopeless romantic i oh, thought you just called me like a bad wife then i was no. like oh. you were ready to just like get offended then yeah you? i was i'm gonna find something good i don't have long to do it though i was thinking about I've got a couple of like um, charts that I could stitch that I actually started with the intention of giving it to you for our anniversary, but... Oh, uh, you know what we should do? Just make each other paper bangers. You know the ones you used to do in school? I don't know how to it. do them. You should find a YouTube tutorial because I don't right. know how to do them. I'll just make you loads of origami. I like origami. I've never done origami. Well, we could do that for a date. Origami date? Yeah. How long do we have to be together before we can do... um? Pottery. Oh, Feels I don't know. Is like there a porcelain anniversary? Yeah, clay. Clay. That'll work. I think there's, I don't actually know if there's a clay um, anniversary. What are they called? I have no idea. Oh. Oh, this, but this one's got something different. Hang on. Oh, no. Oh, right, so there's a modern gift and a traditional gift. So year one, paper is the traditional and modern is clocks. Clocks? Yeah. Year two, modern is china, traditional is cotton. <coughs> Three you... is glass or crystal and leather. Four is appliances or what? silk, linen, fruit or flowers. Still called linen is the UK one. That means that for our four year anniversary, you have to buy me some linen so that I can stitch on it. Well, technically, for our fourth and first, I could just get you a two in one and buy you like a digital clock. Yeah. Why, why clock? It's strange. Um, year know. eight is linen again, or salt, of or course. pottery in the US. There we go. Year seven's wool, or brass. What? Year six is wood or candy. These are so, like, Make your one candy bowl. Oh, yeah, 12 is pearls or linen again. You get a lot of work with linen, didn't you? Do you reckon yeah. someone made this list after they'd accidentally bought too much linen? <laughs> Probably. 17 years is furniture. Huh? Happy 17th anniversary, love. I bought you a chair. <laughs> oh, for our 24-year anniversary, you have to buy me a musical instrument. And why a nose flipped, like in a Simpsons? Be rough. There's one for every year up to 30 years. After that, you don't buy each other anything. Then you don't for another five, and then another five, and then another five, and then another five. So. The anniversary industry fell. I really got to make the most out of these first 30 years. Well. So, yeah, there we go. If you ever wondered, or if you have an anniversary coming up and you were in a pinch. There you go, Jess has just read the list off so you don't have to Not read. all of them, but... <coughs> Clearly the interesting ones, though. Oh, do you know what you could get me for paper? What? A paper pattern. There we go. Find a different way to get it into stitching it every time. Yeah, that, that's like the dream, isn't I'll it, I'll get really? you a stitching clock so you can time how long you've been a stitching. stitching yeah. Like one of those chess clocks where I'm yeah. like... <laughs> Except you never press the other button because you don't stop. Imagine if I just like never have to stop stitching. Imagine if I just give you a clock. <laughs> wow. That's it, the conversation over. I am so sorry if this video is really boring to everyone, but this is a poly. We still want to make a video. This is what you get. This is actually a really accurate representation of what it's like when me and you were just left to our own devices. Yeah. Like, we, we rip each other a little bit. What was that face for? Nothing. You've got something coming on, haven't you? You're going to scare me. No. Do I ever? I can see you. 
Don't make me laugh, I'll go off. <laughs> it's quite nice. And we just have unfiltered chat about clocks, apparently. Clocks. Mm. Clocks and paper. I'm very excited to start that pattern, though. I may, I may start it. No, I can't start it early, can I? What day is our anniversary? I feel like it's on a Thursday. Hang on, let me have a look. I feel like you're going to now give Thursday slander. No, I just... It's not like a weekend where I can spend a full... Yeah, our anniversary is on a Thursday. That means we got married on a Wednesday. I was wondering that. Like, is it different because we're in America time? So, like, was the time zone, like, slightly off? No, we'll, um, it'll have been same day, England. There we are. Then. Just, we would have got married in the afternoon, whereas in America we got married in the morning. Just in case you wondered. I'm honestly quite devastated that we're not going back for our one year anniversary. That's a joke, by the way. <coughs> it's not I want to go back, but it doesn't have to be for our anniversary. I have to do a count, I'm sorry. We um we actually visited the beach we got married at when we went there. This like, time. In January. So when I get that video edited, it's still coming, guys. Um, I will show you. Um, you'll see the beach we got married at. And then if anyone goes to Universal, uh, if they stay at Royal Pacific or if you just visit, you'll be able to see the beach we got married at. What are you counting? Uh, my rose. <laughs> How are your colours looking? Because I wasn't sure about the fabric, if it was too if dark. Was... I lost count because it's small and my eyes weren't focusing on it properly, so there we go. I've laid... I'm borrowing your crosshair and it's really helping me quite a lot, actually. Well, you can use it if you want. <coughs> I bought the wrong one. That, oh, um... it was a poly pocket. So, so that's how it's looking on the fabric. Oh, that'll look good. And then I'll do a little... I don't know if you can see that. Probably not with the lighting. Um. I was saying that I bought the board holder for my Lowry. Yeah. But my board was falling out of it. I bought the wrong board. So you can have that one if you want, if that would be helpful for yeah, you. It's very helpful, thank you. Welcome. I haven't used my Lowry in a little while and I started using it yesterday and I was like, wow, I can't believe I'd like stopped using this for a little while. Your mind was blown. It was. I saw her as well. Uh, they make, they do, they make a purple Lowry, so. Lowry too. You know. Better than before. It's purple. Of course it's better than before. Faster. Stitch faster. No, the Lowry's just faster. Faster at what? Like, if you knock it accidentally, it spins around and whips you really hard. <laughs> Get your shin immediately. I just... I, I love the colour purple. That's my favourite colour. That might be the reason why I want our um, wedding thing to be on purple. There you go. purple. What's your favourite colour, Rai? Quite like a nice dark green. Mm -hmm. I want my next car to be dark green. Fair enough. Like a British racing green. My car's blue. <laughs> it's glittery though, it's nice. That's a very cool blue, isn't it? I love my car. You do have a very cool car. Right, do you want to be wrapping up the video now? Because I think we've filmed for like nearly an hour. Yes, yeah, sorry. If I can just do these last... Yeah, I'll let I you get on with it. Nine. Oh no, I'll still talk, but like... Has anyone bought anything from Market? Because Market was like... Not last weekend, the weekend before, I believe. I think so. I think... Yeah, it must have been because we were around your cousins and you were showing them like all the people that were there at the time. Yeah. Um, Nashville Needlework Market was on. Um, so has anyone bought anything from it? Because there's a, there was a few things definitely that I was like, oh, I right. really want that. And um, I've kind of been eyeing some websites. The main thing that I really want is the um, recipe book. Mm. I think that's such a good idea. It's so cool. Yeah, I just want to try it. I just, I just have this goal where I just want to try a little bit of everything that you can do with stitching. I think that should be a new thing. If like you were saying earlier about what would you do if you won the lottery, go market. Yeah. But make an extended time so we can go to Bass Pro. Pro. The thing is as well, right? So I was talking about oh, I want to start <coughs> quilting. So I've been thinking, oh well, can I incorporate some cross stitch into my quilting? And then I was thinking, you know the world map piece. Yeah. What if I didn't stitch that whole map? And just where you've been to. And 
Oh no, but that was a good idea. I haven't been to that many places. Um, what if I stitched little motifs from each country? Like, because they've all got like little bits yeah. on it. And then just stitch those on like bits of fabric and then put them into a quilt like that. That would be really cool. Right? But I don't know, you know, how I would pick the bits and how it would work. Like, I don't know how to quilt even yet. So to think that I could do something like that might be a bit ambitious. Jump straight into it. But I had something to think about because I love World Map, but I was looking at it yesterday and it's 330 pages. I was like... It's a bit daunting. Oh, yeah, it's... Um, it's like a Stephen King book. <clears throat> Shelf Life's 220 and World Map's 330. So combined... Yeah. Oh, was it 350? I can't remember. I think 330. It was just like a huge amount. A lot. Here we go. Here's what I'm finishing today on. I've got one stitch uh, left. And actually, I'm going to show you my back, which I don't do <coughs> very often, but I'm very proud of this one. Can you see that? Happy. <laughs> oh, my pattern fell off. Um, oh, no. I've got my home case like stood up and propped against my cone of doom so that I can have the pattern propped up in it. And it's actually really helpful, so. I made a rush camera. Forgot about this yesterday. Needle miner. <laughs> I've got my Kermit one, but he's big. getting moved off everything at the moment, bless him. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna to finish today. And that's where I'm finishing today. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Kind of, yeah. Yours is looking good. I would really like to get into um, quilting because that gives me another option to mm. like finish some cross stitch pieces a bit differently in a more practical way. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Thank if you've you. watched this point, comment quilt. Content. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see you next week. Hopefully with a more normal like floss tube. This is what we've worked on. This is this, this is that. But Hopefully less dizzy as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Yeah. Leave a comment if you want to say hi. I will or see you next week. If you want to say week. something else, yeah. don't limit yourself. No. Thank you.